land of hope. From the shires and hilltops come, reclaim our happy island home. Arthur sleeps and Merlin dreams of Vivian in the sacred wood where gnarled oaks shed their russet leaves. Along the valley floor the slow mist seeps, weeps upon the twelve black queens united in sorrow's sisterhood. The nation's dead arise and brood, not set apart in mystic solitude, but turn their burning eyes as one to weigh what we have done, to see what we have made of Britain latterly. A glorious name inherited by fools, big fish that swim in tiny pools. Swamped by invading foreign tides, Britannia hides her head and groans. Her lion's foot is festered with a thorn which suppurates and stings, undrawn. Listless and betrayed, her people sigh along the banks of once great rivers, now shallow streams or muddy pools or dry. Unsatisfied, her multitudes adore an unregarding godhead and a trust long since trampled in the clinging dust. Her highways roar and clamour, and her hills are visited with countless ills. The desperate, brief sunshine ebbs across a capital that steams and throbs. Her last despairing patriot declares, gazing through an eye that's filled with tears. Here proudly shall I stand upon my desecrated native land.